Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. And today we are talking about giving ourselves permission to move forward as an artist. Now I understand this is kind of like a different kind of topic for this channel. It's not about a gear review, but I want to talk about a couple of different things as a creative, as a photographer that is just different. This type of video is going to be, like I said, different from most of my channel content. However, I want to take some time to remind you that you can move forward today. I know many of us are, have gotten into this rut of not creating. Many of us have had life circumstances that have bogged us down and have made times when we have just not felt like picking up our cameras to create really something new or anything old. We often find ourselves scrolling online, attached to our cell phones, looking at work of our idols and heroes and contemporaries. And it has created a sort of malaise in our work. It somehow created our work to sit idle while everyone around us moves forward, or at least we perceive they are moving forward. Now, I don't know if you feel the same way that I've been, but often I go through a malaise a couple of times a year and anything can cause me to fall into this season of, of unproductive, like of not being productive. A few months ago, someone left a comment on something I created and that comment forced me to second guess everything I was doing. It can be anything about anything that can be a trigger that causes us to stop moving forward with our work and I wanted to share with you today three things that I have found that have helped me get out of this state of inactivity as a creative. Now the biggest thing that I have done is I have stopped seeking motivation to do something and started to create habits to get things done. That sounds strange doesn't it? I have found so often that I would search for motivation to do something or inspiration to start a project, to go out and photograph or create, but what I needed to do was to concentrate on creating better habits. I also knew that I could not do this on my own, so I hired a coach to help me work through creating better habits. And what I found in creating better habits is that I was more productive throughout the day I worked on making progress with my content and photography instead of waiting to be inspired to go out and create. One of the things I am working through is taking my Leica M10 and walking around outside and allowing myself to take 36 photographs or one roll of film equivalent. I do this daily to not only help with my mental health, but also to help me create something new. And if you would like some information on the coach that helped me, I will leave his information in the description of this video. Now, another thing that I have tried to do with some variants of success is to try my hardest not to be demotivated by fear of failure. It's funny even saying this, but I have found that when you put yourself out there for public consumption, some may not like what you say or disagree with what you create. Sometimes a slightly negative comment on my photography or a negative comment on something that I've created for YouTube can send me spiraling and can set me back at least a month or two. The fear of failure sometimes can be a demotivating factor for me. And maybe if you are watching this, it can be for you too. Now, what has gotten me out of this frame of mind is realizing that I am not the best at everything and telling myself, Tim, you are still learning and you have to be the best version of yourself. You will have to be okay with failing or not meeting the expectations of other people. I tell this to myself constantly. Sometimes I have to say this to myself out loud. Failure is a part of the process. And we have to find a way to embrace it as a part of our success 
or as a minor speed bump and not let the fear of failure be a stop sign to doing what we are doing. A writer that you may hear about multiple times on this channel is Austin Kleon. And he states in the book, Still Like an Artist, the trouble with creative work, sometimes by the time people catch on to what's valuable about what you do, you are either A, bored to death with it, or B, dead. You can't go looking for validation from external sources. Once you put your work in the world, you have no control over the way that people re will react to it. It's out of your hands. Essentially, our job as artists is to create, let go of fear, and share it with the world. We may not ever see the validity, the, the valid comments that we are looking for, but sometimes it should not deter you from trying. One of the biggest lessons I've learned as a kid from my parents, and you've probably heard about this in another video, is that you are the sum average of your five closest friends. In other words, you are who you hang around with. Suppose you surround yourself with people striving to be a better version of themselves. In that case, you will naturally become a better version of yourself because that attitude is addictive. If you surround yourself with people who do nothing but talk negatively about others, you will find yourself in those same trappings of life, of talking negative about other people. The above statement is true in any walk in life and in every area of life. Generally, there may be exceptions, but that is generally an anomaly. If you want to see any success, you must remove negative influences from your life. Often the ones who speak the loudest are the ones closest to us. It is okay to take a break from people who are telling you, you can't do something. It is also okay to speak up about how someone is making you feel and let them know that they are not motivating you in the way that you would hope. If you want to make a life change, start by looking at who you surround yourself with first, and you will see those who are influencing you. These three points above is not an exhaustive list of things, but a few things that have helped me avoid the rut of not creating. I wanted to share this with you in this video that's not something about a Leica camera, that is not something about photography, but it is about photography. The thing that I struggle with the most is I just don't find this kind of content out there enough on social media. I don't find this type of content um, in the creative sphere. Everyone is doing everything great. Every video is about how awesome a piece of equipment is. Every video is how awesome someone is doing. But the reality of life is that we aren't always doing great. There are times where we are all struggling with something. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's with creating. Maybe it's with a lot of other things in your life. But I wanted to share a couple of things today that really help change who I am as a person. And through these things that have helped change me, and being honest and real on this channel and trying to figure out more of what I want to say and where my voice is in this realm of YouTube, maybe, just maybe, it can help you too. My name's Tim Riddick. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.